On behalf of Conservatives Group, I want to thank the rapporteurs for the great job that they have done. Really well done, very good job, and uh, no questions about this. But first, uh, before discussing the issue, I want to address Mr. Tini Cox, because he told us, listen, we have a problem. We don't have Russian delegation here, and that's why we don't have dialogue. Only one question. When there was a Russian delegation here, was there a dialogue? Yes. No. It was blah, blah, blah. Because nothing Russian parliament decides, because nothing was made on any resolution of Council of Europe, of parliamentary assembly. We can take, I will not go to Ukrainian case. You know everybody that we made the decisions about Crimea, Donbass, and everything, and nothing is fulfilled by Russian Federation. Nothing. Zero. I will take this. Resolution from 2010, 2011, Russian delegation was here. Was any, any movement in the questions which are arising here? In the human rights in North Caucasus? No, it was even worse. 2012, was there any improvements? No. 2013? No. 2014? No. Only worse, worse, worse. Only deterioration. No improvements improvements at all. So what about a dialogue? We need a dialogue with something is changing, but not a dialogue for blah, blah, blah. And uh, now about uh, uh, the um, uh, report itself. Certainly, North Caucasus is a horrible situation there with human rights. The, it no, the, the situation is known by everybody who are interested in. But what is North Caucasus? North Caucasus is the polygon for Putin. Just a polygon. First he began to kill oppositional politicians in North Caucasus, then in Moscow near Kremlin, Boris Nemtsov. First they began to kill journalists in Chechnya, then in Moscow. That's all. That, this is the polygon where they're using the methods to kill anything which can confront their power and the way they're doing it. So, and you mentioned Ramzan Kadyrov today. Ramzan Kadyrov is only the hand of Putin, no more. So, certainly we need to put a pressure on them, because now they're trying to move this experience further. Ukrainian Crimea annexated. What is going on there? Putin is trying to make the second Chechnya there, with absolute no human rights, not violation. When we are saying violation, it's understatement. There are no human rights in North Caucasus, and there are no human rights now in Crimea and in Ukraine and Donbas. So, summarizing, very good work. We need to put any pressure possible on the Russian Federation to stop, i not even saying to improve the situation, but to stop deterioration of what is going on in North Caucasus and in Russian Federation in general. Thank you.